Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Battle Brothers. In this video we're going to be finding some more siege engines with many Org Young, some Org Berserkers, a few ambushers, a few skirmishers. But first, we're almost out of food, we're almost out of tools, we're out of ammo. We're going to try and make our way to Undheim because we are pretty much out of everything right now. We even had to trade in some of our quivers. Dear lord. Do you know how bad it's gotten when we've got to, like, ditch the quivers? <laughs> That's the first time this playthrough, but thankfully we are able to make it to Undheim. Well, we're basically going to ditch all these things that we have here. You know, we're going to give them away for money. Then we'll use that money to get some more things. So we could do some more things, like, oh, I don't know. Some food. We'll sell the empty quivers because, well, let's be honest. They're empty quivers. Uh, we'll buy some food. Could definitely use some of that. We'll buy some arrows and some tools. And some bandages, just in case, you know. Armor, do you have anything good? You do not. It's a bit of a shame, isn't it? We're back up to 40 things now, so that's good. I feel confident that we can equip our people with actual fighting spears again. So it might be a little bit less desperate than I might have led you to believe last video. It happens. Norberg's still kind of in a panic though. We can't get anything here. Bloody ground grain is like 350. Or three times as expensive at least. Eckhart's still in a bit of a rough spot, I'm gonna I'm not gonna lie. He's he's gonna be out of it for a while. So we're not gonna put him in the fighting line. Obviously, we'll have Hubert instead, and he will have to prove his worth, or die trying. Let's do this! Good, good. I did remember to switch out- oh yeah. More archers, because now we're- in daytime, of course. We've got some friendos with some catapults! They're gonna be feeling some pain! I'm gonna have you hold your turn for now, buddy. Firefine, just charge forward! Show them we are not afraid! This'll be easy! We're just gonna have the rest of them hold their turn for now. It's because I want to wait and see where they charge us from. Because, you know, they seem to be rather spread out. On, like, a thing like this. Which makes sense, you know, you've got to guard the perimeter and whatnot. I'm surprised we have a chance to miss the catapults. Like, oh yeah, it's a big bloody inanimate object. Um, roll a d20. If you do miss, we'll laugh at you. You know, it is still a definitive possibility as well. Something you should keep in mind. We're gonna have our archers hold their turn, I guess. Hello. There's goblins right there. Sneaky little buggers. We actually have a decent chance to miss a catapult with uh, Bertram over there. Try to shoot the goblin with the net, because nets are annoying. They should all go away. It didn't work. Not yet, anyway. We're working on it. So we are rather... Distribute. In our deployment over here. You know, we're not in a uniform line. At all. Which kind of adds a bit of challenge to this, I'm not gonna lie. Definitely makes things more interesting. Archers. Gotta be honest, just mess up the bloody big one. You can try and put an aim shot onto him and fail miserably. We'll just put an aim shot into that orc. That seems to be a safe bet here. We're gonna try and have it so that he cannot charge us immediately. I mean, that probably works out reasonably well. 
There we go, put him down. Not that worried about him hitting us, just, you know, we can kill him with our bows, we might as well. Be a waste not to, really. Damn it, Hubert, you are not doing very well, are you? Oh my god, Magnus got netted and resisted the charge. Good, good stuff, man. Proud of you. Uh, I was worried that might happen. I tried to risk that they wouldn't do that, but you know, that was a dumb thing to do. Obviously. Look at Ike. So decked out. I love it. Looks good on him. The, uh, the full helm. Magnus just needs to break free, really. That's all one needs to do nowadays. We've got to break free. Yeah, you're just gonna keep shooting, that's fine. Totally cool. Let's shoot some more of the boys. We actually hit the catapult on accident. I don't know how you mess up and like accidentally hit a catapult, but there you go. We have done it. Firefans got some got a big a bit of bad luck there. We only managed to hit one person. You know, despite both of them having a guy surrounding them, he still missed. Not cool, man. I might have to work on Magnus' morale a little bit. He is a... He's run away before, you know. Definitely put some stabs into that dude. Before he becomes a problem, really. Magnus is doing work over there. Very nice. We get to stun him as well. I'm not even sure what the goblins are doing. Or rather the greenskins. Not putting up much of a fight, I'll give him that. But you know, I'm completely happy with that. There we go, shoot the bare chest in one. And we again accidentally hit the thing. I mean, that's fine. I've done worse things and accidentally destroy one of the things we're su supposed to destroy. Am I right? So let's kill some more of these guys, you know. There's a couple more. They don't feel like fleeing yet, so... We'll keep working them over. Catching some arrows. Honestly, they're pretty easy. The goblins are basically dead men walking, and the ambushers are just gonna run away at some point. If we let them. Godfrey's actually got higher initiative, oh my lord. I didn't realize that, but yeah. Apparently, Super Sarge just got out-initiated. I'm not sure if that is a word, but it needs to be one now. You know, it seems appropriate. Come on, Gunner. There we go. Got ourselves a little archer over there. That's cute. Ooh, catapult. I mean, we don't have to destroy them, but we can. I'm actually gonna send Hubert over after them, because... I don't know. It's actually a pretty bad idea, considering that, you know, they could just get their daggers out and stab them. And be like, oh yeah, we can ignore your armor. Which, I don't know. Feels a bit odd on a sword. I know it's a goblin special thing, but still. It's weird how you're just like, oh yeah, my sword is impervious to your armor. And like, two stabs and you're nearly dead. From full health. Didn't really feel right, you know? Didn't really feel right. Oh well. Get stabbed. A lot. Repeatedly. There you go. That's more like it. Uh, it's over. Ike gets a level up. Sweet. We get more shrooms and more weapons as well. Truly, this is a fantastic day. Bodies litter the field. Clouds of flies already starting to gather and busy themselves. You gather your men. 
and prepare a return to Baron Torl Helm of Von Hedden for your pay. We broke the Siege of Norberg! We only had to fight like a hundred orcs. Get back in the fight, you. Stop slacking. Guess we'll go check on the Schmelz. I'm on the way, I guess. Guess you know, it's probably gonna get destroyed any minute now. That's another trading caravan of Felsheim. They should just, like, stop that at some point. You know, just give up. Except that I will be friends with them again. That's an item off the bucket list. Right, uh, we'll sell the quivers. It was useful to have some quivers for backup. I'll give them. I'll give it that. You know, for once, that actually came in really useful. Now I'd pick up a Rommel dagger. Superstar's been asking for one for ages, and I said I'd try, and I do try. There you go, buddy. I got your back, uh, Ike. Good stuff. Um, got a kite shield. I'm gonna go with melee defense and stuff. I'm gonna give you a tiny bit of resolve. You know, look at Magnus. He's got 55. I would like a, a little bit higher, my hat. You know, a little bit. Just uh, make sure people get out of the valley there and just you know be awesome, as awesome as they can be. Things like that. You know. Thank you. Need that and that. Appreciate it. So yeah, we're gonna have to do a cleansing here at some point. Probably up here as well. I do think this was like a one-off thing just for the mission, so I'm not really worried about uh, Norberg's... Oh, hello. They don't seem to care about me though. Uh, that's it, that's a shaman. Have we fought it? Yeah, we... Yeah, we've had a shaman before. I hate them. Shaman's gunning for us, though. Holy crap. Prepare to get annoyed. At least we're not fighting 40 of them, but still, this is pretty bad. Let's hit the cheating mode. More accuracy. Yeah. Shoot him right in the kisser. They're not stupid, I'll give them that. Although they are shooting at a, uh, a two-hander who has like 30 range defense base. He's pretty beastly, what, what, what do you need me to say? You know, he's pretty damn good at his job. There we go, keep shooting the guys with nets, basically. Because they suck. We need them dead. like these goblins. They're gonna be very annoying. We're gonna have nets everywhere and then they're just gonna uh, just do all the things. Thanks for trying Bertram. And look! Vines! Isn't that great? Just piss all you can do about that too. Well you can try and break them but you know you're very unlikely to actually break out of them. It's worse than a net, basically. Basically, it can be cast infinite amount of times. It doesn't seem to have any fatigue. Uh, maybe a slight fatigue penalty, but seriously, just you know, no counter to it whatsoever, except just trying to off the dude quickly, which is not a counter. Come on, that's not a thing. That's just bull. <coughs> Oh well. I would have been okay with fighting the Wolf Riders. Oh yeah, guess what? It also lowers your defense by 40%. It's like, it's worse than the net, because it could just be repeated infinite amount of times. And it targets like a million guys as well. I'm just saying, it feels cheap. That's all. Especially if there's no way to actually counter it. 
Watch, he's gonna go right here. Yep. Of course. It's the best way to dick us over. That's only natural. There we go. I cannot shoot him at range either. And because we're getting tangled, no way we're moving either. We're just gonna waste our AP on this. Thankfully, we're not fighting in a swamp this time. I well, you know. We've got that going for us, I guess. Let's see, it's minus 45 on a net. The vines are minus 35. Which is, you know, slightly better, but still pretty darn piss poor, if you ask me. There you go, bud. Just relax. This time we're killing him, by the way. No, no, uh, no retreat for the shaman. I will stab him in all the places. Try and shoot that dude. Very nice. He's got a PS lung. He ain't going anywhere now. I'd love it if Firefang could act, but, you know, he's gonna get netted again. Oh no, what a surprise! Oh look, our entire front line is stuck again! Cool mechanic, am I right? Some of the bug, it's a feature. Let's just shoot him. Let's send pointy bits flying his way. I'm done with that fool. I'm also done with his friends over there. You know, if you can't break twi break free after two times, you're basically messed up. You're not able to do anything. Great mechanic. Great mechanic. Still questioning those design choices, but hey, why shouldn't you, like, right? It's great. Try and shoot him. It missed. He's got bloody fate looking out for him and everything. Please hit him. Nope. And now he's gonna run, again. Never to catch him because, oh no, look, we're suddenly netted again. Totes for real is you guys. I'm sh I'm fine with there being uncountable magic. Don't make it this bullshit. That's just lame. This doesn't make the game more engaging for me. It just makes it a hell of a lot more annoying. Looks like we're stuck again. You know. You do get a slightly higher chance to break out, but that is not going to do you any good if you don't have the fatigue to do so. Poor life choices, I tell you. I like the idea, but the execution is so poor. Actively punishing. Oh look, we're stuck in vines again! Woohoo! You know, this this fight is just proving my point. It's like, oh yeah, what are you gonna do? You're stuck in vines. Get over it. Well, you can't get over it because you're stuck in it forever. Well, I've not seen a valid counterpoint to this. Oh, hello. He's gonna have a clever. He's gonna have a good way to disengage, doesn't he? Yeah. He's gonna have the footwork skill to just get out for free. And then be like, nope, you'll never catch me, I'm the gingerbread man! That's how this works, isn't it? He's the gingerbread man. Let's see if we can get Super Sarge over there to shoot his ass. Oh my, he actually stands and fights! What a dumb idiot. 
I mean, sure, I'll take it. I'll happily stab him everywhere. Oh look, we can't break free. What a coincidence. Looks like you're stuck there again. Immersive gameplay. And yes, I will continue taking the piss out of it forever. I don't know. It beats being able, uh, not being able to do anything about it, in my opinion. That's how you stun someone, idiot. But we're taking his blood. We're spilling it. It will rain today. Get him. Take his head as a trophy. Achievement unlocked. Wild growth. Because F him. Oh look, you're still stuck. That's great. You know, if you got crappy ra like ray and melee skill, like on your archers. Sorry, you're screwed. At least BVS went level up after that. And we did smack the crap out of one of those little jerks. So that's good. That's something, I suppose. Not quite as cathartic as it should have been, though. Let's get you some extra initiative, buddy. Now, Super Sarge, yeah, you... You're slightly... Huh. It's odd. Like, I'd swear you still have more initiative than Gottfried. Oh, well. Let's see if we can catch up to those wolf riders. Oh! Are you okay? You look to be okay. You look to be okay as well, that's good. I could wait, but honestly, I'm not that bothered by it, you know. Have a fun fight, suckers. Saves me the trouble, I guess. Oh! That's great, Eckhart's cured after I paid, to, paid the fee to cure him. That's great. I mean, I'm glad he's up and about again, but... Come on, guys. Cut me some slack here. You know. Um. Do we take a boat? I think we might take a boat. I don't know about Schmalt. You know what? We're not going to take a boat. We're just going to leg it right over to Hagberg. If we see anything all along the way, like an orc camp or whatever, we'll probably bust it down, but. I'm not, I'm not really that bothered by it. We'll just head down and we'll see what we can do. Hopefully Schmalt is not going to set on be set in fire or anything, you know. That would suck. That would suck a lot. Please rebuild something so you've got some extra hit points back, you know. Seems like they did calm down over there, though. So well, that's nice. We might be able to get a breath here. And a bit of money. Come on in, hero. What shall they inscribe next to your name? You ask what it is he is on about. Sellsword, please. Don't be so modest. What you accomplish is worthy of being carried on the tongues of those not even born yet. <laughs> you nod. Eh, sure. That's great and all. Where's my money? Your employer's lips purse. He nods in return and hands the satchel over. A man of many tasks, I'm sure. This one is nothing to you, but it means a lot to us. And Norberg is saved. And they've got another task ready to go. A mercenary's job is never done. Ooh, fighting spear. I'll take one of those. Just so I don't have to be bothered about sweet, uh, like, rotating in and out equipment all the time. I think that's actually the last one we needed. Ah! Look at that. That's good. Well, we'll sell this junk because we don't need it. Basically. We are starting up 
We're, we are starting to fill up on a lot of junk. That might be useful in combat later, though, so yeah. Gotta keep that in mind. We'll also sell this helmet because we don't need it, frankly. That one's old. We'll keep the male hauberk around as a spare. Because it can never hurt to have too much armor. You want me to patrol? Hmm. One long patrol. Uh, how much are we talking about? We need to be paid more per head. That's 3,000 with 490 in advance. I mean, sure. Gatewall, Norberg, and Hagberg. Sure. We'll get paid to do a little bit of killing. It's fine with me. I know just the place. Pretty much... Oh, I don't know. You could throw a dart anywhere here and you'd probably find something good to kill. Is that... Is that smoke I saw in the north? Oh, that's just fog. Fair enough. I'd rather it be fog, to be honest. So, you know. Not opposed to it. I am going to wait here. Just until morning. Oh, no. Looks like, uh... We ride again. And we've lost the town. Unless anyone's gonna stop that, because we sure as hell aren't gonna be. That sucks. Oh no, it stopped! It stopped, temporarily. I don't know why. Let's get over there quickly. I think someone tried to stop it, so, you know. I accidentally hacked up, and God intervened. Or, you know, someone intervened. Not sure if... Oh yeah, Smallcham Company. I think they settled it. And it's back, so, you know, just in the nick of time here. Many Org Young and many Goblin Geary. Sure, let's get in there quick. Still technically daytime. So there we go. We get to murder. Hello. We're gonna hold our position. They're gonna try and flank us. We'll kill the wolf riders first. Preferably from range if we can. Yeah, you're gonna die, buddy. I'm sorry. Oh, really, BVS? Come on, man. You could have basically lined it up on Hubert's shoulder there and got a perfect kill. Wow. Dude's got balls. He got really lucky there, apparently. I mean, that's cool, I guess. Free into that stuff. There we go. He's dead. He's already running. Wow. Come on, Hubert. You suck at this. Uh, sure, we'll fire into the Orc Young, I guess. Cool. He's got a bloody nose. Ah, oh, really? No dice? Damn, man, come on. Just play ball with me here. Because he's gonna do that. I know he was. That surprises absolutely nobody, really. Oh. Let's try firing into them again. You should really sort off. Honestly. Ah, there we go. We can act again. There we go. We'll start killing immediately. That's how we roll. Wow, 
Wow. Lucky bastard. There you go. Didn't need any of that, did ya? Take that. Stupid green skins. I'm trying to burn the town I'm trying to save. Not on my watch. Yeah, there we go. Ike just uh, lost some happiness there, sadly. You know, the battle is going pretty darn well aside from all that. But they keep insisting that they really should stun poor Firefan, which I really disagree with. They really shouldn't. They keep pulling that crap. Even though I really think Firefun would be pretty much immune to that right now. Right now. It seems to have an arbitrarily high hit, hit chance. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Welcome to the slaughter bank, friend. You will not return. Let me guarantee you that. There you go. You didn't look nice to begin with. It sure as hell hasn't improved now. There you go. That flees about half of them. Maybe not actually half of them, but you know, close enough. From government work, anyway. You could be saying we're not doing government work. You'd be wrong. You'd be real wrong. Oh, what's that? Oh yeah, there goes your health, old man. You gotta keep an eye on that stuff. It's precious. Killing fools left, right, center, and in the back as well. None will live. Obviously. They're way too rude to be left alive. No kill for Firefan there. Tis a shame. Tis a shame. So yeah, let's kill more dudes. What can I say? I'm a simple man, I like killing the foe. Life is pretty simple when you look at it that way. Just kill the dude that's trying to kill you. And then you'll never have any trouble. Excellent. Gottfried got a level up from that. Good stuff. Schmel time. Once again saved. Let's go back to Felsfest now. We should be close enough that, you know, if anything does go wrong again, we should be able to fix it. And we'll have a bit of a look around. Bit of a gander. Although, you know, we're supposed to be patrolling on now, really. And I guess we did kind of stop things for now, so... You know, that qualifies as doing our job. Well enough so that we can move on for a little bit. There we go, buy more tools, we could always use them. Do you have any weapons? That are, like, supremely awesome. We've got a fighting spear, but right now I think we're good on fighting spears. Finally. Oh, hello. Oh, that's a cool helmet. That's like a Norse design, isn't it? Sir Erland's clan helmet. Oh, man. It's got five less fatigue. That's neat. And pretty much the same armor. I mean... I gotta do it. I gotta do it for giggles. We give Erland Sir Erland's clan helmet. Mm. We couldn't just not use that opportunity, you know. Let's get some more ranged accuracy in here. We need to upper Annie. Just that little bit. 
guess we'll go check out Norberg then. Huh. Nah. Can't be bothered, really. <laughs> you know, it's bad when you can't be bothered by something like that. I mean, we had a chance, but I... I refused it, you know. I don't really care about breaking hunters today. The only thing I care about is finding the green skin. Stopping the hordes that will roam our lands and destroy it if we're not careful. Roads are uh, pretty safe today. Never mind, there's a green skin horde. It seems to be a theme around here lately. Bloody hordes everywhere, man. Next thing you'll see the Alliance fighting the horde. I'd say it's an obscure reference, but it really isn't. Right, well. I'll join the bloody greenskin horde fight. Because it actually means we might have a chance of killing something. Huzzah. We're also fighting among some... Oh, god damn it. Really? It's like, oh yeah. How can we make this as annoying as possible for you to join without actually making you punch your monitor in rage? God damn it. I want to fight, not hide. It's, it's literally like one, two, three, four, five, six. Are we in France? The hedgerow country or something? God darn it, man. I'm getting World War II Village Bocage flashbacks right now. Anyway, World War II references aside, let's kill these guys. We'll get some heads out of this, if nothing else. <sighs> this really pisses me off. I really hate maps like this. It's like, oh yeah, you can't see anything. There we go. We are now the Knights of Ni with a little shrubbery. There we go. We're able to join our brother mercenaries in battle here. For God's sake. Great, thanks. You let a wolf loose on us. That's not helping. Oh my lord. I mean, our friends up there are called the dead men for a reason. They are going to be down a couple people. Yeah, yeah, you're going after my archer again. I'm going to teach you how to not, you know, do that. Because it's rude. Eckhart, get him. There we go, much better. Get Magnus over there as well. And Firefan has to go around now, that's a bit of a shame. But oh well. Yeah, you're kind of stuck there, I'm sorry. I'll let a dog lose though. Thank you! Sorry, Olaf, you're a bit of a sacrifice there, I'm gonna be honest. It didn't even work. I could try to stab him, but honestly, trying to stab that is just a losing battle. We are helping. You know, we're not doing nothing. Ah, hello, Vision. It's been a long time since we've had some of that. Look at that guy with his nosebleed.
There we go. These guys have actually got a pretty good handle on things. Turns out, mercs are awesome no matter who they are. Although, you know, Eagles of Fortune still win it. But don't tell tho uh, those guys that. They might get a bit jealous. You know, we've already bested many orcs. When I say many, I say we've lost bloody count at this point. Of course, nobody actually snapped in, stepped in here, so nobody can do a thing about this. Super Sarge, you're gonna have to get that dagger out, I'm afraid. <laughs> you did actually kill us mount, well done. That's above and beyond, man. And then horribly fails in the execution there. That's fine. Gottfried's got it. Actually, Gottfried got some very clutch shots there, I'm happy with that. I was hoping to get a shot into there, but nope. They've got things, apparently. I'm trying to look for my guys. I'm like, just look for the guys that have weird gear that doesn't fit at all. That kind of sums all of them up, though. <laughs> and they're just holding. They know. They're not kill-stealing. They get it. They've got that mercenary respect built in. I approve. Let's head back to Schmeltzheim. Lord knows someone needs to keep that place safe. And it ain't gonna be the AI, although apparently they did do something to hold it. Ah, good. We'll be ending the episode here in before smashing that horde. Because, you know, we've been going for a while. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and perhaps a comment down below as well. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. And I will catch you all next time. Until then, have a good one, folks.